Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thailand Pavilion. My name is Walun Kan Suliya, Administrative Officer from Electric City Authority of Thailand, or EGAT. Swadiha. My name is Pachari Pandongusit Ka. You can call me Yam for short. Uh, I'm working on Smart City Team Ka. Ka. On behalf of EGAT, we are very nice, uh, pleased and uh, warm welcome you guys to come to our city. Uh, we, you can call us Memo Smart City from Coal to Clean Energy, a city journey toward a low carbon future. But imagine, you, may, you might not imagine right now, what is Smart City? What is Mammoth Smart City? And now we'll let you go, go to our Mammoth Smart City. Okay, three, two, one. Mamo District in Lampang Province is the location of an important electricity generating source in Northern Thailand. The Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand is an organization under the supervision of the Ministry of Energy that has a mission to operate the open pit mining by feeding lignite coal into the production of Maimo Power Plant. Maimo Power Plant tends to reduce its production capacity from the current 2,455 megawatts and will end in 2050. This has clearly affected the economy in Maimo District and Lampang Province, such as Gross Provincial Product GPP, and income will be decreased by more than 17.5%, which is caused by employment in the area and the providing money from electricity production units into the Power Development Fund. To prepare for the upcoming impacts, EGAT is committed to transforming the area by replacing coal with clean energy to generate electricity. In the meantime, EGAT Maimo has begun adjusting operational plans, especially in the matter of the power generation system and the area development for being low carbon economy under the project of Maimo Smart City. Maimo Smart City is an agency of Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand or EGAT Maimo. Having a mission to monitor Maimo District Area Development Project towards a low-carbon economic city by working together with network expertise partners in various fields including bringing innovations to develop the project and to create ecosystem. Building a strong network of collaboration and business partnerships is the way to meet this challenge and to create advantages in sustainable development of community areas. Since the founding of Maimo Smart City Project to the present, there have been many projects taking place, such as Biomasco Firing Project aims to utilize agricultural waste materials. It is compressed into pellets in the form of biomass pellets. Then it is burned along with coal at Maimo Power Plant. Energy Management Project provides information on energy use for communities and various government agencies in the area for saving energy in the future. Agricultural Industrial Community Project promotes the transfer of knowledge about vertical farming and organic agriculture to people in the area for using technology to increase the value of their products, etc. Operations under all projects will be used to collect information through the City database named City Data Platform to be used for analysis of the environmental impact and the amount of greenhouse gas reduction that has decreased after the implementation of various projects aiming towards creating a low carbon economic city in the future. With the potentials and readiness in Maimo District under the monitor of EGAP Maimo, such as the readiness to develop into an alternative energy area or renewable energy. In terms of geographic location suitable for being a rail transportation center and the infrastructure resources such as high voltage transmission lines, large water resource, social and community cooperation make Maimo is an area with potential and business opportunities that's suitable for development into an economic zone that driven by green energy this transformation is able to develop society and community sustainably and further. Wow, 
this is our presentation of, of to all of you about uh, Memo Smart City, yes. right? But actually, before before that, um, I would like to interview you to uh, talk about the the mission of EGAT within the Memo District again, as uh, EGAT have the mission uh, in that in memo area to do one of the mission to generate the electric city to provide for Thai people in especially in the northern part of the Thailand um, our mission is uh, included memo lignite mine which is the largest open pit mining in Thailand and also memo power plant with the capacity of 2155 megawatts and now um, to move forward in the future, we designed a uh, memo district to be the green area that which is uh, in the smart and livable city toward the net zero as the mission of uh, Thai, Thai minister that commitment in 2050 in the future. Um, refer to Thai policy, Thai minister aim to reach uh, the carbon neutrality in 2050. Uh, uh, in 2050 to go to net zero emission by the year of 2065 at COP26. As the result, the carbon neutrality uh, in 2050 target uh, ECAT aim to try to uh, apply this uh, triple S strategy, including to have a plan of 4,400,000 4, acres of reforestation to reach that kind of the target as well. And also building the carbon free society for Thai people and that from that moment. Um, Focusing on the operation of MAMO power plant again, uh, as you can see, the main field of MAMO power plant is the lignite uh, from the MAMO mine, which is the totally we use 100% of lignite coal. Uh, from burning the coal, of course, there is the emission of the CO2 to our environment, but. Um, but if as the PDP, we in the future in 2021, the PDP of Thailand, uh, the capacity of memo power plant gonna be 2455 megawatts. And another four years later, the capacity will be decreasing uh, accordingly and gonna be the 1255 megawatts. And finally in 2050, uh, it's gonna be like zero megawatts and every step of uh, generation of uh, producing uh, electricity is also, as I said before, is in CO2 emission. Uh, with our mission to try to attempt uh, the uh, CO2 emission as a EGAT strategy in the future, the more you uh, decreasing of the coal consumption, the more you decrease CO2 emission as well. So, memo power plants dedicate ourselves to find the innovation and uh, technologies, any kind of things to enhance efficiency together with uh, reducing CO2 emission. Um, with we have also have two challenges as i told you before we provide uh, electric city consumption for thai in the northern part of thailand but we also have to ensuring the reliability of clean energy uh, integration with the competitive uh, price uh, electric city pricing for thai people this is kind of the very very challenge because um, as right now uh, Memo power plant is the lowest cost of uh, electricity production. So that's why uh, this is kind of the critical mission for Memo power plant. And now we are looking for Thailand sustainable energy in the future. And of course, in the transition to clean coal energy to reduce the cost of renewable uh, energy in the future. And one of our 
uh, innovation that we rewarded for Mema Power Plant within the last two years. Uh, we call Active Boiler Condition Monitor Program, or you can say ABC for short. The highlight of uh, this program is uh, we use the machine learning to optimize the boiler cleaning. Uh, this is the system is not enhance the reliability of uh, electricity uh, power generation, but also increase the production e efficiency. As you say, uh, the step of power generation, we use the coal lignite mine, right? And after burning the lignite mine, it also have the, the ash that accumulate around the boiler. This ashes is maybe as big as a big truck. And imagine if the big truck is uh, falling down, falling down to our boiler, of course, it will lose of the electricity um, generation, of course, and, and it will impact to the cost of Thai electricity bill as well. So we decide to use the, this uh, MVC machine, which is uh, try to scan and optimizing uh, the use of the water cannon to uh, inject the water like water gun to take uh, the edges away from the boiler. So normally before we use the water cannon, we spend about two ADA shots a day, which is uh, we increase the consumption of the coal about 130 tons a day. But uh, after we use uh, the the ABC, we try, we can uh, optimizing and scanning the accumulated to be the critical of the accumulation and will critical to the boiler damage and uh, reduce the water scratching from 288 shots a day to be only 24 shots a day. What is this kind of uh, number is so impacting. Imagine if you put the water into the big fire, very super heat fire, of course the heat loss. And if the heat loss to make the heat just like the same standard, you have to put uh, the coal, the fuel to make the heat to go to the, the same standard. That's why uh, the ABC uh, implementation is so work and also use, uh, you, uh, also reduce the uses of the coal without wasting. And from after use the ABC consumption, uh, uh, the ABC implementation, the coal consumption reduction right now, it's uh, from 130 tons a day. Uh, we, and we can, uh, reduce the CO2 emission about 65 ton CO2 equivalent house. This is one of our innovation that we apply to, to MAMO power plant. And we also have other kinds of MAMO power plant to, to try to reduce the coal consumption and also helping uh, the CO2 emission from now on. Um, and this is all the in, uh, in process that we try to use innovation and technologies. But uh, imagine, as I told you before, like the PDP of Thailand uh, for the coal consumption is reducing, reducing until the zero megawatts in the area. And what if, Nong Yam, what if, uh, how Memo power plant is so important in the people in that area? in Memo district area. If we, if, we out, we, if we don't have the coal anymore, we just pack the baggage uh, and go out? And yeah, it's very it's huge for effect for our community. Oh, yeah. wha like what? Yeah, because of uh, in this area, mm -hmm. the people who work really is uh, the mining mm -hmm. uh, activities and uh, generating uh, power in, in this area, so around uh, almost 10,000 people wow. work for GAT. Yeah, that's very, very impact. 
And also, we uh, every megawatt that we produce in a Myanmar district, we also pay for the fund. And this we call the Power Development Fund, which is we uh, donate to the people in the area about 200 to 4 million baht per yeah, year yeah, right. for people. Right. And this much of money, what we create our area to be, Nong Yam. Can you, can you show like uh, the project that, for example, for everybody here can imagine? Okay. Um, this, uh, if that at, as I told you, this is very huge effect. If uh, we close, we do not produce electricity in this area and mm -hmm. no mining in this area, uh, of course that effect to community and effect to also not only uh, memo only uh not only memo mm -hmm. is effect to uh, lampang province and also not part of thailand also oh, yes. i see i heard that uh the the gross national and provincial product yes, around right. uh for people who stay in lampang city is about uh, 15 uh, 15,795 million baht per day. Just yes, because yes. Uh, Memo Mine and Memo Power Plant right. stay in within this kind of area, right? Right. Yes, it's portion around 20% of GPP of uh, Lampang province. Oh, wow. Uh, that That's very big impact, though. And, and what if, uh, if we not prepare anything for this uh, city, what going to happen? Of yeah. course, it's not if affect you like the employee like us because we can move to other side of the EGAT. But people around here, do you have yeah. any plan for that? Yeah, if anybody do nothing in this area, mm -hmm. huge effects, of course. Mm -hmm. So before we will talk about our plan, so let's start with what we have in this area. So please, next slide for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, we try to look around what is our opportunity in this area. So we call for driving force in this area. The first one, because of we are good in produce electricity, also we have a good uh, knowledge or skill, and we have potential to produce um, RE uh, in this area also. Uh, the potential of our RE capacity from our research is around 5,000 megawatts can be happen in this area, such as uh, solar farm, uh, biomass plant, and pump storage. This is possibility to create here. And another one, as you know, Lampang is like a golden uh, location, location right. in the north part of Thailand because of from central of Thailand if you would like to go up the north part you have to pass Lampang because of we have like a um, golden area golden locate and another one we are located between the um, railway northern railway and another one is double track railway if you see in the right hand side up there you will see Memo in the gray one, and we are between the the railway that uh, you uh, we can have a um, good uh, opportunity for to be a transportation hub in here. And another possibility, because of we uh, do um, produce electricity for 40 and 50 years in this area, we have a good um, relationship with um, people in this area, uh, key person and community. Like a very best neighborhood right. together, right? Right, we know each other. It's very easy if you would like to join and let them know which other new project that we create. They, we can um, let them know it's good for them and they would like to be enjoyed. So yes. you you will say like situation right now the pe the community pe uh, community people would like to support the yes, e of course, mission of right? Course. Oh yes. wow! Because of if you would like to apply another project to other uh, location, you have to know you have to learn each other and take times to start the new project. So if you start here, 
you no need to take long time because of we know uh, each other well with community. And the last one, of course, that we have infrastructure here. We have transmission line, we have rail, we have road, we have reservoir in this place already. No need to start from zero again. Yes, this is what we have and what are, is our strength in this area. Yes. So from that for driving force and th that for driving force will attractiveness to let Memo to be Memo power green area. Everybody always asks me what is green area? Color, all of the trees around? No, it's not about <laughs> that green colors. <laughs> it's about we are products in uh, electricity from no coal anymore, from mm -hmm. other kind of uh, fuel, mm -hmm. such as um, biomass, mm -hmm. or hydrogen, mm -hmm. or palm storage, mm -hmm. and solar farm, that is all clean, mm -hmm. yes. And maybe we have uh, uh, studying research about uh, carbon uh, CCS and CCUS also. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is can make for driving force and our good what we are in uh, to produce electricity that can attractiveness to let this area to be a green industrial. Mm -hmm. Yes, green industrial and in green innovation park uh, can be green logistic also and green human resources. Yes, and I think in the future it will be the trend of re uh, CO two reduction and can jump to this area, and we ready to Let's support. Start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> support to the other kinds of public and private. Yes, section. From this information about economic effect, if um, everybody uh, do not think in this area, the cost that we have to pay, the loss we have to lose, that economic loss around um, $5,000 million from year 2023 to 2050. In this area, you will see the red one is huge effect. But if we do project, such as um, like a RE project, you will see the green one to the economic can con uh, compensation that loss. So from in the short term, in 10 years, from start in 2023 to 2030, you will see we can uh, minus around 135 uh, billion, a million dollars in only 10 years in short term. And in long term, maybe compensation around $8,000 million. Yes. It's very interesting, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, s sorry. Yes, when we look around about um, the trend, as you said, the GSG emission, we try to uh, find try to identify with the research that uh, what about the activity, which activity that reduce GHG emission in this city. The result is the biggest one is from agricultural, forestry, and other land use. So it's not surprise for not people like me because of you maybe heard about PM 2.5 from agricultural like biomass burning in field and other kind about um, uh, fire forest that very huge um, problem is very is like a pain point of not people yes and another part is from stationary energy that uh, around uh, 39 percent portion of GSG emission from this information can guide us which project we need to approach in this area to reduce GSG emission. Yes, if you see GSG um, reduction roadmap that we've planned, so in 10 years from 2023 to 2030, we aim to target about 30% reduction GSG emission. 
So from now to that year, what we are plan to do in activity, agricultural, forestry, and other land use, that is very important because of um, we produce electricity from coal, then we have planned to transform the transition to be clean. Yes, we start the biomass coal firing project already in, in our power plant. And another one, we have a uh, plan to uh, uh, use more biomass to coal firing with uh, uh, coal in power plant, yes. From now, we are not, uh, we are coal firing less than 2% of uh, heat input. But uh, we have planned to study more up to 15% uh, and more than that, we have planned to study to uh, transform our power plant to be biomass plant in future. Yes, 100%. And also have other projects like carbon sink and uh, crop field transition. Yes, this is an uh, activity of agriculture and forestry activity that we uh, try to approach. And another one, stationary energy. So we have tried to uh, uh, use a project such as solar energy or energy management in this area because of we try to searching for the place who use uh, the top 10 to consume the electricity and let them work together and how we can reduce uh, and how we can use the RE for support them to make it firm in that uh, station. Another one, industrial process and product use. We also have planned uh, the similar with the stationary energy activity, but in future, we also are uh, studying about another kind of uh, the fuel, like, such as hydrogen and uh, capture the carbon like CCS or CCUS also. And how about transportation? We need to uh, do support transportation also, right? The transportation, we also have an EV, EV car and EV plan. And in future, we have um, like a um, real transportation to be transport people or transport the, the source of uh, fuel to, to produce uh, electricity in future. And the last one about waste, we also do the waste circular economy. This is the five main five activity that we, we have tried to make um, GHG redu reduction in this city. Yes. So from previous slide, is maybe you, you think, oh, why it got did a, do a lot in this area? So we also have highlight project in each activity that we would like to reduce GHG. Uh, in detail, maybe I will not uh, uh, talk too much in de detail. If you would like to see more information, you can look around us, find us, and, and ask the ask handsome them. guy at the booth and for more information about yes. further. You of course. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, ask us more in detail. But what I would like to show you before we are times of, of this stage is our plan and our future that we would like to be. This is Memo Green Area Roadmap that we dream for. Mm -hmm. From right now, Quick Win, we do a lot of project for Quick Win project, but in future, we would like to scale up to new S curve, such as solar farm. Right now, we start only 50 megawatts, but we have potential to scale up to 2,400 megawatts. And pump storage and biomass power plant. Mm -hmm. This is our dream for. Mm -hmm. And we not only do for a project about uh, energy, we also do side projects for a variety of our projects also, like tourism mm -hmm. and data and 
management of uh, waste of water and forestry also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we cannot, um, finally, we cannot do this by only by ICAT. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are here today to let you join us to develop in this area, right? Yeah, yes. As I told you, like ICAT mission, the main mission is generate the power uh, generation for Thai people to make Thai people have like the happiness yes, uh, of right. smiling, of like utilities, anything, etc. But we also have to looking forward for the uh, another opportunities. Of course, we, we spend time in Memo District. It's not only just like generation, the electric city, but we are uh, support each other for the uh, community as of well, course, right? Of course. But if normally if we just like make the good relationship for people around there, it just that's it. After we step back from the out of the coal, we just out. But this is not our mission that yeah, we want to right. want to be in the right. future, right? Yes. But we are of course people a lot of people we we like a good friends and good relationship already. So we try to looking for another opportunities. Yes, also and we hope that you can be part of our development in this area and hope that if you have a chance you can uh, visit us at mm -hmm. Mamop Power Plant. And we and we're looking forward for your green opportunities to work for our world together and reach the net zero in the future. Yes. Thank you yes, very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask us. <laughs> Do you have for uh, yes, yeah. please. Thank you for your great presentation. So my question is, as you mentioned, that the project is trying to convert the Memo District into the green area. So I would like to ask whether are there any plans in uh, attracting the investment into the the area, and since in what I say in 2025, most of the investor seeking for the green energy. So, are there any opportunities for them to to situate or locate their business in the space? Okay, okay, it's not easy question. Is we are have the uh, same question with ourselves also. So the project need money that as you ask us. So IGAD have not uh, have not enough of money to create all of project by ourselves. And what we ask for that we have a connection with our par partnership. So we have we, we will not work alone. We try to have uh, the good partnership in in the, in Thailand and in also in other country to par for uh, give us the funding for the, the project because of uh, our project, uh, like um, the trans energy transition and the world um, support the project like this because of they care about the community and uh, they care about the environment. So in other country, they can support us and to, to, to create, to give us the funding to support our project. And that is why we come here for today to find um, the good partnership that can support us about the project also. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm have a question about uh, the ABC. Um, um, you mentioned that, that the ABC is uh, like a, a ECAT developed by yourself. Mm -hmm. um, this is a program or the, um, this is a, another power generator can use this ABC program to themselves or not? Oh, thank you for your question. Actually, the ABC can implement in every single like power plant. Um, right now, we, we try to 
uh, implement in the now now mostly we using in the unit s uh, 14 and now we transfer to uh, using in the unit 8 to 13 as well but for another site that we are looking for the opportunities maybe others uh, other kinds of feel of EGATS power plant, but maybe have to uh, apply for the, the, the process inside the system, depending on the field they use. But now uh, we use mainly for the uh, coal field because it's uh, control the water cannon to uh, get rid of the, the slag composition within the boiler. So, so that means if, if uh, another power generator, they would like to use this program, they can contact and make the, some business with ECAT. Right, right. If you're interested, we, you, we, can, like, uh, we can consult later because this kind of like ECAT innovation by ECAT employee, and now in the future, maybe we're looking for a uh, Hongsa power plant because we use uh, the same fuel at the Memo power plant. Thank you. Thank you. Any any questions? Um, we we are no, happy to to answer. <laughs> okay, but but if not have any kind of the question, we happy to to answer you guys later at the booth of Memo Smart City, and we hope you enjoy and maybe have, have the opportunity in the future come to visit us in Lampang City, in the Mammoth Smart City, the life, lifeable city for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.